It is the kind of innovation that could only happen in the Bay Area. KPIX reporter Mark Kelly explains why a prominent conservative politician wants to join forces with local techies. Called the first of its kind, Silicon Valley techies rubbing elbows with conservative politicians. The question, how can technology and liberty flourish side by side? Kentucky Senator Rand Paul gave his answer, shrink government. Is government inherently stupid? Say, no, but it's a debatable question. <laughs> Silicon Valley entrepreneur Garrett Johnson organized Senator Paul's visit. It's not that I agree with him 100% of the time. I don't agree with my parents 100% of the time, but I go home for Thanksgiving and Christmas every year. The conference is called Lincoln Labs Reboot 2014. Here, a new political term is being coded, the conservatarian, part conservative, part libertarian. CEO of ABLE, an Austin-based funding site, Evan Baer, likes the new term. I call myself a conservative uh, with libertarian leanings maybe, so conservatarian, it's new for me, but sure, it's a fit. This event shows Senator Paul is hungry to win over these newly minted conservatarians. They have deep pockets, and he has big ideas for changing the status quo and changing political minds here in Silicon Valley. I come out here and people say, oh, we loved President Obama, you know. We're all for President Obama. We're from the tech community. Why? Why would you be? He's not for innovation. He's not for freedom. He's for the protectionism crowd. You know, he's for the crowd that would limit the activities of these companies. NSA scandal has rocked government and Silicon Valley. Paul warned about its repercussions for the business climate. Since the NSA scandal, there are people losing money. People who sell stuff in Europe, people who sell stuff in Asia, they're not very happy with us right now. There have been articles written that said as much as $22 billion in lost sales. Senator Paul was welcomed in a traditionally liberal region, but will his message infiltrate all of Silicon Valley and beyond? Well, that's anyone's guess. I love that Rand Paul is in the mix. I love that he's talking about privacy and really important issues for technologists, what the rest of the country will do. I'm not paid to be a political prognosticator. I'm just trying to build a business. In San Francisco, Mark Kelly, KPIX 5. Now, recent polls put Rand Paul near the front of the pack among likely Republican presidential contenders. So far, he's made no official announcements on whether he will run.